Hi, and welcome to TechNut. Today we're showing you how to set up a server for the immensely popular online gaming communication software TeamSpeak. To get started, you'll need the setup files, available as a link in the video description. Extract the files to wherever you'd like. Open the folder and start TS3 server. The first time you start the server application, you will get some details. Make sure to save these in a safe location as we will need them later. Close the window. In the taskbar, you will see the TS icon. This means that the server is now running. It is now time to open up some ports in the Windows firewall. As you can see on the screen, I've brought in some PowerShell commandlets to do this. When we scroll over, we can see the port number and protocols used. We're going to start PowerShell as an administrator. We're going to copy the text and paste it in. This will execute and open the firewall ports. For communication with the outside world, it's also necessary to open up and forward ports in your router. If you're not going to use all the features, you don't need to forward the ports. The voice usage is pretty obvious. Server query is used to display your server on the official TeamSpeak server list. And the file transfer is also pretty much self-explanatory. As all routers are different, there is no way for us to show you this. However, if you have problems, just take a screenshot of your configuration and post it in the comments below and we'll try to help you out. We are now ready to connect to the server. For demonstration purposes, I've installed the TeamSpeak client on the server itself. Since I'm obviously on the same LAN as the server, I will need the internal IP address. So I'm going to start up CMD and run the ipconfig command. Next, I'll go in TeamSpeak, open up the bookmarks, and select Manage Bookmarks. I'm going to go ahead and click Add. I'm going to give the server a name. And enter the IP address. I'm going to click OK, and by going into bookmarks and selecting the server, we should now be able to connect. The server will ask for the privilege key from before, so just paste it in and click OK. This is, will make us the owner of the server and give us some administrative privileges. Using these privileges, we can now make some settings on the server, like changing the server name. We can also change the welcome message. I'm going to go ahead and apply the settings. As you can see, the name changed. What I like to do is make the primary channel a silent channel. So we're going to call this lobby silent. And we're going to give it the description. Use if AFK. We're going to set the needed talk power to 99, as this means that no one will be able to talk in this channel. But having only a silent channel isn't any fun, so we're going to go ahead and create a channel. Create channel, we're going to call this one CSGO, because it's a game that I play a lot. We're going to make sure to make the channel permanent and sort it after the lobby. The channel is now being created, and by double clicking it, can join that channel. There are a lot of other features in TeamSpeak as well. We won't go into any of these, but if you like a video on any of them, please let us know. And that's it. If you follow the guide, you should have a TeamSpeak server up and running by now. If you'd rather come join us, check out the video description for details on our server. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment if you have any questions, and don't forget to subscribe.